Good morning, everyone. This is Jarvis S. Scott with What's Happening in Birmingham. Today, I have the honor and pleasure of being with Ms. D. Edwards, who is an instructor with IRS Tax School. Yes. So, good morning, Ms. Edwards. How good are you? Good morning. Great. Good, good, good. Um, so, tell us, what is IRS Tax School? Okay. So, the IRS Tax Schooling, it is an online training program, which we provide for paid tax professionals and um, tax business owners. So, we provide training to help them to succeed in the tax industry. Okay, well, so just give me an idea of why did you come up with the site? Yeah, so I just felt like it was important for tax preparers or those who are interested in learning the tax industry to have quality training. And I've been in the industry for nearly 20 years, and I always had a hard time finding continuing education courses that was relatable to the type of clients that we service. And so we created this school to provide that quality training that's relatable and is easy to understand understand and plus all of our students once they graduate they receive continuing education credits and certificate of approval which is both approved by the IRS. Okay so tell me what has happened in the last couple of years that made some I mean, some of these changes and mm -hmm. changes you've seen mm -hmm. made tax, tax preparers go and get it because but what I know, a lot of people didn't have to have anybody from, honestly, off the street could just say, I'm a tax preparer. Yeah, that's, and, you know, the, the crazy part about it is that in this industry, you are not required to have any type of formal training, mm -hmm. but we always encourage tax professionals to get training because, one, it helped them to stay abreast of all of the different tax laws and the different, uh, just tax rules and regulations. Mm -hmm. Two, it helped them with understanding the tax laws so that they can help their clients to receive the maximum refund uh, that's allowed by law. And then three, uh, this is a form of due diligence for paid tax preparers. So saying that I don't know or I don't understand a certain tax law is not justifiable with the IRS. They're holding paid tax professionals more liable and filing us um, or penalizing us for not knowing certain things in the industry. So it's, it's almost an oxymoron because it's not required. However, they fine us or penalize us if we are not preparing taxes accurately. Okay, okay, okay. So when does the school start? Um, school start September 16th. The great thing is that it's all online and uh, no matter where the tax preparer is, they can be in any state, we still provide training. We are the only independently owned continuing education provider in Alabama that provides continuing education credits and certificate of completion that's approved by the IRS. But we train tax preparers all over the world. Okay, so what's the cost of the program, or average cost? Yeah, so the cost of the program program is $199 and it includes everything that they need. All of the videos, the uh, workbook, worksheets, resources. They get to take uh, review exams and then at the end they take a final exam. And as long as they pass the final exam by making a 70% or higher, they'll receive the continuing education credit and their certificate. Okay, so let me ask this. We're going to go off. We're going to come back for okay. a minute. So, Next year, tax season is coming, mm -hmm. and you mentioned earlier about your years being in the tax profession. What yes. are some tips do you want to tell, whether it's business owners or, or just individuals? Okay that's coming up next year. Yeah, um, so are you talking about as far as the paid tax prof uh, per professionals or clients like clients, yourself? Clients, clients yeah, like yeah. yourself. One of the things that I would uh, tell any business owner is just to make sure that you're keeping your documents, keep your records, because if you can prove it, you can claim it. If you cannot prove it, don't claim it. The IRS, they have increased their audit. So they're auditing more and more individuals, especially when it comes to claim independence, where it would qualify the taxpayer for earned income tax credit, mm -hmm. additional child tax credit, child tax credit, mm -hmm. all of those um, credits. And also um, they are looking more into small business owners. So it's just important to keep records. I was just telling people, if you don't know, if you can claim it, just still keep your receipt anyway and just take it to your tax professional. Just keep receipts, keep records. Even if it's not in an organized way, it's just important for them to just keep records. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, 
And how many years have you been in the business? Yeah, I've been in I've been in the industry for nearly twenty years. So what I do now is, of course, I still prepare taxes, but I also help other individuals with establishing their tax business. So we have an array of resources available to uh, tax professionals. Whether it's software, we provide document templates. We have legal packages available. We help them with setting up their tax office. We also provide training to other tax business owners and their staff okay. so we can actually come into a tax business and we can provide them with the training so you know Jarvis for for us it's all about helping tax professionals with providing quality service if you're going to run a tax office at least have a quality tax office and so we want to just provide them with uh, with the resources that they need uh, because what I find is that the IRS they target tax business owners that service individuals in low uh, income communities oh, okay. Be yeah because they are they're able to qualify for earned income tax credit which okay. makes up a majority of individuals uh, tax refunds so the IRS is really really um, targeting tax business owners in those communities so we want to help avoid audits and we want to help audit proof their office as well okay so we flip it back to the viewers for a minute what red flags should people look for in choosing a tax preparer, a tax professional? Wow, okay. Because um, <laughs> other a couple of years say, well, you know, if they're only, if you see their sign for tax season and they disappear, that may be a sign if you ain't known them for a couple of years <laughs> because I guess people don't understand, like, you leaving personal information mm -hmm. with someone or if someone you've known in your church for years yes. and that's the tax lady, you yes. call it. So, yes, I mean that's a really great question. It's a lot of things that they can look for, but one you want to look for the stability of the the tax business, okay. um, because a lot of people choose national brands like H and R Block, Liberty Tax, because there isn't enough stability in the small business community mm -hmm. when it comes to independently on tax offices. So I would just say look at the stability, how long they've been in business, do they receive training every year, can um, do they have like systems and processes set in place. Are they reputable? Do their research. And one thing, um, because I'm in the tax industry as well, so one thing about our um, office and me as a tax business owner is that you can go to the IRS directory and I'm listed as a recommended tax preparer by the IRS. So the IRS also have a directory for um, recommended tax preparers and I'm one of them. <laughs> I think, a, I think a lot of times a lot of people don't really know that. Yeah, they, no, a, a lot of individuals, they don't know that. But that's one of the things that mm -hmm. I would highly recommend because you said it, Jarvis. You have to remember that when you go to a tax professional, you are giving them all of your information. This person that you're going to, they can recreate you because they have your social security number, your date of birth. They know where you live. They know how much money you make. They have your family's information. They can literally take your information and go and apply for a credit card or go and do something so you uh, you have to just really just be mindful of the individuals that you are choosing okay yeah okay, okay. <laughs> So, any final thoughts you would like to add? Yeah, the, the final thing is I definitely want to encourage um, uh, new tax professionals or those who have been in the industry for a while to receive continuing education credits and get the training that they need, especially this time going into the new tax season. Because of the tax reform, there are a lot of tax changes. There are new credits that are available for tax uh, uh, payers. There are more parts that the IRS is requiring of us. Us as far as documentation and obtaining information from tax clients. So I would just recommend that if they have never gone to a tax school before, if they've never gotten uh, quality training before, this is the year that they need to definitely uh, get the training that they need. And of course, Jarvis, you know, I would recommend the IRS tax schooling and they can learn more about us at www.irstaxschooling with the ing.com and it'll give them a breakdown of what to expect from our classes, answer some of the questions that they may have, and hopefully they will enroll in our program. Um, our first orientation class is September 16th, and that's at 8 p.m. at night. It's online, so they get an opportunity to just call in, get the information that they need, and every week we release one to two modules, um, and they have from Monday until Friday midnight to complete the modules in their 
their review. So they have plenty of time in order to learn this industry before the upcoming tax season. Okay. Well, thank you, Miss Edwards, for your time. Yeah. And we're also going to put the information also on the video so you can see as well. Okay. So, and once again, thank you for your time. And for more videos and more interviews, please check out my website, what's happening in Birmingham.com. Thank you all again. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.